What doesn't challenge you doesn't change you. When I was living in Azerbaijan, it was a culmination of a lot of frustrations. They funded the men's team, but they wouldn't fund the women's team. I can't watch a women's football match on TV. I look at the media coverage. There are more stories about horses than women. If I didn't do something as an individual, then really, what am I doing here? I phoned up Erin and I said, hey, mate, I've had this idea. Let's go and play the highest altitude football match ever with all women. And all of a sudden, the momentum behind the game got a whole lot bigger than either of us ever expected. It snowballed. It started from this bunch of mates and became this huge global movement. Football for women in Saudi doesn't exist, and I just really want us to exist. Had women's football been able to take root and flourish and grow, and be exported all over the world a hundred years ago, not only would sport be different, society would be different. If we have a voice and we have a little bit of power to get up and speak for someone else and say something, we have to do it. And I couldn't think of anything more important in my life to do than come here. From a medical side, this is crazy. Asking them to play a full 90-minute soccer game, it is certainly life-threatening. There's such momentum with what we're doing. There's no way we could stop now. We have to do something else. We decided to come to Jordan and put together another adventure. We're not thinking about this as doing a highest challenge to a lowest challenge, so much as we're thinking about it as top to bottom change. Instead of complaining, just get up and start moving in the direction you want to move in and other people are gonna join you. If you're unhappy with it, don't just sit there, do something about it. Do you wanna climb a mountain? Do you wanna change your life? Do you wanna change other people's lives? Come with us.